Commencing operation in three, two, one. Operation is a go. Hi guys, this is Cublub92 with another video tutorial for you guys. And uh, what you just saw there is what you're going to be making. So that's how to mask out a mask of your own. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, before I start, though, I want to tell you guys that I got a comment in the last video saying that I need to tell you guys what you're using before you use it. So we will be using Sony Vegas Pro 9. All right. So that was kind of cool. I just told you that you'll be needing Sony Vegas Pro 9, if you didn't already catch that. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, get a picture that you want to use of a Halo Spartan or Call of Duty guy or whatever you want. Um, go ahead and drag that into the timeline. That'll create a video track for you. Um, the next step we're going to want to do is we're going to open Event Pan slash Crop. Open that, and down in the bottom left-hand corner you'll see a little checkbox that says mask. Go ahead and enable that. Now you're going to want to zoom in on the Spartan's head or the part that you want to mask out. Go ahead and zoom in on that by hitting con or uh, just by scrolling on your mouse wheel. The next thing you want to do is hit control and pan around just to find out where you want to go. Now go ahead and start masking out your Spartan's mask by clicking with the anchor creation tool or D on your keyboard. So go ahead and do that, and I'll come back when we're done. All right, we're back. Now that you've done your masking part, go over to the left side of your screen in the event pan slash crop window, and you will find a little button that says positive. If you go ahead and click on that, and it'll pop up with three choices, positive, negative, and disabled. You want it to be negative. That way, the mask will disappear from the Spartan rather than the Spartan disappearing from the mask. So go ahead and check that. Then do feather type and change it to both if you want. It doesn't really matter. You can turn it up a little bit just to feather the edges a little bit. I'm just going to leave it off because I don't really like that. So you can go ahead and close this now. The next thing you're going to want to do is find a video that you want to play in the mask. So I'm going to click this little overkill that I have. I'm going to delete the audio for the tutorial. So to do that, you click on the video, hit U on your keyboard, and then select the audio and hit delete. What U does on your keyboard is it ungroups the video from the audio, so that way you can work with each one individually. So that's a little tidbit for you guys. So now you can see if we play the video that it's actually playing behind my Spartan's head. So, but it's a little bit too big, so I'm going to size it down. Go to the event pan crop window of your video and uh, make sure you're at the first key or first keyframe. Go ahead and uh, zoom that out until you uh, find where you want it. Place it around. Make sure you uh, find where you want it to go in the mask. Go ahead and close that. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to import another picture. So, go ahead and import your picture. Now you'll see nothing really changed because the picture is on the bottom and it doesn't affect it's not affected. So if you switch tracks 2 and 3, so the video layer is on the very bottom. Go ahead and do that. And then uh the next thing you want to do is bring the opacity down on I think it's the middle layer. Yeah, there it is. So go ahead and bring it down to 50% or whatever, whatever looks best. So just to make sure you guys got this right, the layer you masked out should be on the very top. The layer that you just imported the picture should be in the middle. And the video should be on the bottom layer. That'll um, make it so it's kind of gold tinted on the mask. All right. Now, you could leave it like this if you want to. I don't really like it like this. If you see, it just kind of plays in the video. That's not it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my first picture, the event pan crop. I'm going to uh, select position, and then I'm going to go to the first keyframe. And I'm going to make it kind of zoom in slowly. All of a sudden, it'll stop. And then I'm going to make it zoom in really fast into the video. So by doing this, you uh, or to do this, you are at the first keyframe. Leave that added as it is. Go maybe two seconds into the video or a second and a half into the video. 
add a key keyframe and zoom in slightly, maybe that much right there. That looks good. Now I'm gonna go over about quarter of a second, add another keyframe. Don't do anything with it because that little area right there, in between the second and third keyframe, is your pause. Now if you go over another quarter of a second to two seconds or so, add another keyframe, center it on the mask, and then zoom all the way in. All right, so uh, if you scrub through this, you can see at the very beginning, it's slowly zooming in, and then it stops for a second, and then it zooms really fast in. All right, so now you can see, though, how the video track and the other layer mask is off by a little bit. So what you're going to want to do is open your event pan crop window, go ahead and select the entire keyframes, all the keyframes, right click on one, and hit copy. All right. Now go into uh, your event pan crop on your other picture, and go ahead and right click on the position timeline, and hit paste. That'll make it so that both the pictures are keyframed identically. So now you want to find out where your last keyframe is and cut your picture down to that. So go ahead and open Event Pan Crop. I know I'm like opening Event Pan Crop way too much. So go ahead and click on your last keyframe. Make sure you have this uh, sync cursor set to on or else this won't work. So sync the cursor. Click on the first keyframe. Close that. And then your cursor will be where the last keyframe is. And go ahead and drag the two pictures down to the, the cursor right here. All right. So now you can see that it kind of looks better, sort of, until the end. And then it kind of watches up so that's really uh, small right there so what you're gonna want to do is you want to scrub through here try to find out when the mask starts zooming in and you can go frame by frame by hitting right on your d-pad or on your keyboard or left so if I I'm looking up here at the sample window by by the way so if I hit left on the arrow keys right there is where I want to add my first keyframe and then I go over a few frames until the Spartan's head is gone right there add another keyframe and then hit or on the video right click and hit restore alright and that'll uh, restore your video within a couple frames so now if we play it, it looks a little bit better it zooms in and your video is right there well, I think that's basically it. Um, I like music, so I'm going to go ahead and add some music real quick. Then you can play through that, and it's got some cool music. So there you guys go. I hope you enjoyed that. And by the way, the music that I just played was actually from Immediate Music. Um, that's a... Uh, you can purchase that at websites. I'm not sure the website, but you can go ahead and purchase that. It does cost money. Um, I got mine for free through some torrent or something. I'm not going to give you guys a link, but I there's plenty of video you videos on YouTube about that. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial. Um, be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe, and uh, I'll hope to have some more tutorials out here pretty soon. I'm kind of sick, as you might be telling me. <laughs> yeah, I just got to clear my throat sometimes, you know, and snuffle. So, uh, well, I hope you guys enjoyed, and yeah, that's about it.